Could you please explain to me why you let the most dangerous Soviet penetration agent this country's ever known leg it on your watch? The man I trusted most and my best friend was a Russian spy. Try to imagine how that might feel. You could say I'm not quite sure who to trust anymore. Gentlemen, thank you for being with us. A big fan of your work, Damien. Thank you. Why do we love this kind of stuff? Why are we so intrigued by age-old stories of espionage and mischief? I think that's a good question because you've sort of, you've hinted that maybe uh, we don't need them anymore. This particular time of history, this Cold War, was a time of great change within intelligence agencies. Here domestically, with the advent of the female agent, uh, which ended up 20 years later with uh, a woman running MI5 here, and an intensifying of the tensions between us and Russia through the 50s and 60s. Also, everyone looks very stylish in the suits and the glasses, which is the reason I did it. Who outside our small circle of friends have you ever revealed your real self to? Do you think Philby was playing you? from the very first moment that he met. To be clear, one of our own has done the unthinkable. I found the book that I gave to my dad back in 1989. Alex, you've, you've really brought this story to life. Set, set the scene for us. The show is an examination, really, of a friendship at the center of a big espionage scandal. So it really examines that friendship and the, and the loyalties and the betrayal against the backdrop of sort of fairly big movements in the world. If he and I were both spying for Russia, we can't even finish the sentence. If you were both KGB spies, why invite him to stay with you? Exactly. Thank you. The friendship that Alex is talking about, Damien, is of course the one between your character and Kim Philby, played by Guy Pearce. I'll get to him shortly. But tell me about uh, Nicholas and, and the journey that he's on. Elliot grew up uh, in the intelligence agency the same time as Philby, two or three years younger, looked up to him like an elder brother, was totally seduced by his urbane charm, his wit, his brain, his ability to drink deep into the night, harder and longer than everyone else. We have this delicious moment, which is our focal point, when Elliot is sent to Beirut and spends four days with him in a safe house in Beirut, cross-examining his greatest friend, and also now possibly the greatest traitor the UK has ever had, and is presented with the quandary with how to get him home. I came to tell you that your past was caught up with you. Oh. We found additional information about you that puts everything in place. So the man who did betray his country and, and a generation is played by the fabulous Guy Pearce. I'm um, very proud of him. Tell me about working with him. He's a total sweetheart, and it's not, there's nothing bad to say about the man. He, uh, I mean, first of all, I think we should just, you know, praise how he's navigated his career, coming out of Ramsey Street, becoming a bona fide film star, you know, and and how his career has just continued to find interesting, sort of eclectic series of jobs that he's done. He's brilliant. And now, even I'm convinced, absolutely convinced, that you worked for the Soviet intelligence service. Listen, I think he's mind-blowing in this role. They all are, I mean, it's, it's an extraordinary cast. Well, well done, guys. Thank you sincerely for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Cheers. man. Thank, Thank you. you. Questions are being asked, Kim. Friendship trumps ideology. Tell me you'll make something of all this.